Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD Crash Course for Beginners. Today we will continue learning how to script in VMD or how to use the command line interface in VMD. And what we will do today is we will uh, manipulate some PDB structures and this you will need a lot during your, your projects. You, sometimes you need to change the name, sometimes you need to change the, the res ID or whatever. So before I go uh, to, to VMD, let's remember the components of a PDB structure or a PDB file. In PDB file, you'll find your atoms or residues arranged in this way. Here I have the, the atoms, the atom number, the uh, atom identity, C alpha atom, for example, C beta or whatever, and the res ID, residu residue identity, and what we call it res ID in VMD. It's glycine, glycine, or whatever. The chain identifier, here I have one chain, chain A. Uh, the res number and the coordinates, the coordinates and beta factor, and etc. And here you have the heteroatoms, which could be a ligand, metal, or whatever. So what I will do today is I will try to change the the residue identity. Then I will try to change the the, the chain ID from A to B, for example, because sometimes you get a structure that is composed of two subunits, but in the PDB is identified as in a, but sometimes you, you need to do analysis and you have to identify your your protein in a, in a proper way, chain A and chain B. But before I go to chain, I want to go also for changing the res identity, the res ID. And why do you want the, the need that? Sometimes you have uh, a histidine in a different protonated form, like uh, HSD or HSE, which will not be identified by some of the analysis tools. The only un understand the histidine as HIS. H -I -S. So uh, let's go to an example to understand better. I have here a structure. So I will go to manipulate it manually by uh, uh, text editor. For example, here the, the raw structure. In, in the chain ID, I have only X. So say we want to identify the first 20 residues as chain A, and the second 20 residues as chain B, so that when we analyze the structure for some like a Foldex or energy calculation uh, tools, they don't understand this. They will take the structure as, as, as one chain. So I want to identify the first part of the structure as chain A, and the second 20 part, 20 amino acids as a, as a chain B. Let's, uh, let's ignore the rest. Let's consider that we have only a 40 amino acids. I don't want to go over a long structure. So what we will do is we will go to VMD here and say extensions and TK console. And I'll say set all, everything as atom select top protein and what we are doing now is we are selecting everything in in our uh, in vmd and i hit enter so i have here a variable i named it all and it's selecting everything in this pdb file and then i will make my first selection i will say set a atom select protein and res ID 1 to 20 and I will hit enter now I have a variable a which is from residue number 1 to number 20 and I'll, I'll say the same set I will not try it again just you can hit the upper arrow and it will give you the previous script the previous command and I will say set B atom select top protein and res ID from 21 don't forget to select 21 not 20 because you will be overwriting it 21 to 40 and I will hit enter okay so now I have three variables and I will say look VMD for A set chain to B, okay? Now let's make it, uh, yeah. Now set a chain to 
for A, set a chain to, to A. Yeah, I got an error because, actually, this is very simple. In VMD, you need, you need no need to write two. So set a chain A. Now it will work. And for B, set a chain to, actually, if you write B small, it will misunderstand because B is identified as a, as a variable. So I will make it B capital. So set a chain B. Okay, so now we chat, uh, We set the chain to A for the first winning amino acid and to B for the second winning amino acid. But we are not yet uh, finished because we need to write a new PDB uh, with the modified residues. So we will say for all, write PDB, which which call let's let's name it whatever mo. I like to call myself mo dot pdb and i will hit enter and now let's go to check our new pdb and i hope it worked and of course it will work so this is my new file it just generated now and i will edit and let's compare it to the old one yeah you see the first 20 amino acids here identified to in uh, chain a Sorry. Yeah. We did something wrong. Yeah. No, we didn't do anything wrong. Here we have chain A for the first 20 amino acids. I just I just confused it with the with the atom number. Yeah, for the first twenty amino acids, we have here a chain as A, and from twenty one we have the chain B until we reach here forty. Let's control it, and always you have to inspect your structure because you never ever trust uh, software or tr never ever trust yourself actually. So tell. Uh, so here, you, before this glycine, I have I have it as as B. Okay, so this is very simple. But uh, and sometimes you get a case like this. You cannot choose res ID. For example, you will understand now. For example, I have everything is set as X, and you would choose yeah, simply moment we we could set uh, ch the first uh, amino acids to A and the second to B. But in some cases like this protein. It had it composed of uh, 150. It is composed of two subunits. Each subunit is composed of 153 uh, amino acids. But the problem is, it recount again, restart again from one. It's not like 154. Otherwise, we yeah, we continue. Let's say set the chain to the first 153 to to A and for 154 to the rest to B. But it's a problem here is start again from one. So we should change our our uh, selection. So actually, to to go over this or to to solve this problem is we can manipulate by atom number. Okay. So instead of saying uh, res ID from one to one hundred fifty three, we will say choose the atom from one. Sorry, it's here from one until we go to the end of the first subunit which is 187 okay and then continue from uh, 2188 until the end of my structure which is 4378 so i'm going to be again i hope you are not confused i'll clear this and say set all is atom select so protein again okay and I hit enter and I say set a atom select top 
and I will choose the atoms, not the residues. And you do this by serial. One, two, we said to 187. And now it will choose the atoms from in this range, and I will hit enter, and I will make another selection. We'll call it B. And I say to 188 until it was, yeah, it was, yeah, 43, 43, 78. And I will hit enter, and I will say, for A, set chain as A, and for B, sorry, be careful about the uppercase and lowercase. For B, set a chain as B, and then for all, I'm lazy to write, so I'm, I'm going uppercase, uh, sorry, lower up. So for all, I will say write PDB. We call it what uh, subunit dot PDB, and I will hit enter. And let's check what happened. Yeah, we got a subunit PDB. Let's inspect it and check what's happening. Yeah, we are getting here from atom number one chain A. And I'll go down to, yeah, we got it. To the last atom in the first subunit, it's chain identifier is A and the rest are B. So again, why I did that? Because if you choose res ID, it will not work because the, the structure is uh, recount the amino acid again from the second subunit. And, Actually, I saw someone going to manipulate this by, by, by hand or by copying and paste like this. You're choosing like, if you press Alt, it's, it's, it's quite uh, hard to do that because you might uh, mess around with these uh, coordinations, for example, and you, you, you will destroy your structure. So, and it's hard, it's, it's a waste of time actually. And, uh, it's better it's a better to script so this is the, the first case so now we change the chain identifier here from a to b but sometimes you need to change the 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 res id why as i said because sometimes when you run a simulation you set your uh histidines according to the protonation state according to your case sometimes it is it, it is hsd or what or hse uh, or whatever but when you need to analyze this structure with different tools, some tools are designed only to deal with the histidine in, in its normal case, in his. It doesn't understand the HSD. So that, that's why you need to, to, to change the, 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 the res ID. So I'll show you also an example here. It's the same PDB. It's a result from uh, molecular dynamic simulation. Yeah, I will search for histidine, and as far as I remember, it was 40-something, 40 46, it is here, histidine. But uh, I think I cleaned it. This is already a clean structure. I don't have, I don't have the, uh, the structure with uh, different histidines. So, I mean, we can't change another amino acid. We can go... Just for the sake of learning, I will change this alanine into into mo or whatever. Let's choose a uh, gala, which is not an amino acid, but just let's learn how to do it. So I'll get back to VMD. Where is VMD? It's here. And I'll clear. I like to clear the, my console and I'll choose again set all atom select top protein, and I will choose a variable set. A atom select top protein and res ID from one to sorry protein and res name not res ID ala okay so it will choose all the alanine residues in my structure and I'll hit enter and I'll say for my variable 
set res name but I say gala <laughs> yeah there is no I mean I said like gala but we'll see what's what will happen yeah and then I will say for all right pdb gala dot pdb and let's see what will happen yeah and here is it it's gala dot pdb you see I changed the alanines into gala not only this one you will find here here we have another alanine it is gala I mean, uh, you got the point. If you have HSD here, you can say, again, instead of Gala, you can say protein and res name. Sorry. Oh, I have to be here. Yeah, protein and res name HSD. This will change any histidine in this protonation state. Also, you can include another one, HSE example okay and then you hit enter and you continue so now we learned how to change the chain identifier and the res identity we uh you will continue writing everything in this way you waste a lot of time i'm just showing you how it works but you can write a short script to do this and source it in the in, in the console so here i have a short script of, of what we are doing and I'll say his name or whatever. Okay. This is actually what we did. And you write a PDB final.pdb. And you write whatever you want to do in a script, not to write everything uh, in the console every time manually. And then, as we remembered, as we learned in, in a previous video, you can just hold this script into your VMD and say source mode. PCL and I hit enter and now it worked and it gave me a structure called final. Yeah, final PDB. So that's for today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just, uh, and forgive me for any mistakes because I don't prepare for the videos. I just come to chat with you and share the experience with you. There might be better tools or better ways to do that, but this. A case of what I learned and I would like to share it with you and just let me know your questions or if you have a better way to do it just let me know and we will continue learning together and thank you